Right. We're just trimming a Shetland here and typical of a lot of ponies of this type. This outside wall is really steep and the inside wall is sloped. So we'll see the difference on the trimming technique. But basically this comes about because when we look at the hocks, look how close he is. So it's quite rare for a Shetland to be square at the back. More than likely they're close in the hocks and that translates to the feet having a lot of pressure on the outside heel. Okay, so here we're picking this foot up that we were just looking at from the front. Easy man. Attitude. Attitude. You hear me? Let's give it an initial clean up. So when we're looking and we're trying to balance the heels, we come down and look over the top. Okay. That inside heel is a lot longer. Okay, so we have to cut more off that inside heel and we have to save the outside to help reposition the foot. That much off the outside heel. We're only taking a shave off the, off the outside heel. So we've got this much versus that much. Okay, this is what I've cut off the inside and I'm just gonna rasp up here and lower this by a couple of millimeters. But this is what we need to do to rebalance this horse's feet. Okay. Okay, so I haven't rasped at all. I've rasped some, some on the bottom of the foot. I haven't rasped forward at all. So this gives also gives us a clue because we talk about breakover. So at the moment, the pony's breakover is approximately here. He's quite hard on this outside part of his wall and see the inside part of the wall is really full. So we're gonna get some nippers over. Like that. Okay, so what I'm looking for is parallel. I wanna be parallel with the heels. So I'm gonna rasp that around. But instead of a breakover being like that, we're turning it back so that we're trying to get parallel with the heels. Okay, so I'm gonna round this a little bit. Mainly, I'm gonna concentrate on the inside wall. Okay thin that down. All we're gonna do with this outside wall is bevel it. Get on the 45, bevel it. Now we're looking at squaring up the toe and we're beveling on the inside, we take a bit more wall off. Okay, got a parallel with the heels, coming down, break over. All right, I call it the Mustang roll, but once you've beveled in the front, then I'm putting a secondary bevel on. Really important helps with the wear factor. This must be lower than that. In the wild, the horse would wear his foot down continually. We must make sure that this is lower than the outside, even if it's by a millimeter or so. Okay, a little bit of sculpting here, help the depth of the foot. And the other area that's gotta be lower is in here. Okay, we can't have that higher than the heel. So get your hook in there. Hold up, Arlo. Hold up, Arlo. Come on, dude. I know it's boring, mate. Good boy. Now this outside buttress, because this outer wall gets a lot more wear, I'm not touching that. I want as much strength here as possible. Okay? The inside one, yeah, I'll trim that down a bit. And there's break over. As straight as we can get it. And that's relative to the side of the horse. Okay, 